Tensions in the Pacific region are increasing day by day. The focus is on the newest X-59 and X-44 aircraft, which caused panic in Beijing. These supersonic technologies of the United States can blow away the whole of China in a second. How far will this technology race go? And what does it mean for global security? I'm ready to tell you all about it. The X-59 and X-44 aircraft are the latest developments that can dramatically change air strategies. Do you know that supersonic airplanes can travel at twice the speed of sound? This means that they can fly from New York to London in less than three hours. But these aircraft have surpassed even that. The X-59 quiet supersonic technology developed by none other than NASA itself can fly at supersonic speeds of over 2,850 miles per hour, minimizing sonic impact. What does this mean? The fact that it can silently penetrate enemy territory like a bullet without being detected. In turn, the X-44 Manta is an even more innovative, tailless aircraft with such high maneuverability that even homing missiles flying at 1,860 miles per hour will not be able to hit it. Thus, we get an incredibly fast and silent reconnaissance aircraft that can fly over enemy territory, recording every movement with the most accurate radar, and an ultra-maneuverable invisible fighter that'll destroy all these targets with a volley of powerful missiles. However, the prerequisites for the readiness of U.S. fighter jets are very high, and recent events have pushed for this. The U.S. intelligence services have recently caught a top official who was leaking classified U.S. government data directly to China. Against this backdrop, Beijing has decided to tighten sanctions against the West. In addition, Chinese reconnaissance drones were spotted flying over the territory of some states, including Montana. And a little earlier, there was almost a direct clash between the two countries' ships and the waters off the Philippines. In short, tensions have been rising throughout the year, which has led to what we have, the most secret and advanced X-44 Manta and X-59 quiet supersonic fighters of the United States are ready to show their full power to Beijing. And now comes the moment when the theoretical battle between these countries seems not so theoretical at all. China is deploying warships and J-20 fighter jets near disputed islands in the South China Sea. The threat of escalation is becoming real, and the United States may well respond. I propose to imagine what the outcome of this event will be if the latest X-59 and X-44, ready to perform special missions, take over. The first to get down to business is the intelligence staff, the main weapon of which is the X-59. And speaking of weapons, I was not mistaken, because this is the first reconnaissance aircraft to be able to carry the harm missile, which allows it to hit the radar of the enemy, undermining its defense capabilities. According to American data, the missile is capable of hitting both continuous and pulsed radars, or simply put, any existing radar. The command orders the X-59 to take off. Its mission is covert reconnaissance. Thanks to a unique technology to reduce sonic boom, this aircraft can fly undetected at supersonic speeds of 2,850 miles per hour over enemy positions. It collects critical intelligence by recording the location of ships and air defense systems without attracting attention. While the X-59 is carrying out its mission, the X-44 Manta is preparing for a possible collision. This fighter can reach speeds of over 1,860 miles per hour and is highly maneuverable due to its tailless design. Its main task is to suppress Chinese J-20 fighters if they try to intercept the X-59. Chinese systems detect activity and the J-20s take to the air. So the battle has begun. Due to its low radar visibility, the X-59 is almost invisible to Chinese radar. Its main task is to reconnoiter and disrupt air defense systems, making it an ideal means of disrupting the lines of defense before the main forces engage. Launching harm missiles, it destroys radar after radar, staying safe because of its enormous speed. The enemy has no choice but to attack with its J-20s, and the only target it can see is the X-44. But can it be hit? The J-20 can launch missiles capable of flying at a speed of no more than 1,980 miles per hour, which would be enough to intercept Manta, but due to its incredible maneuverability, the X-44 can knock them off course or evade them altogether. 
The first volley of missiles will fly by and the Manta will engage the Chinese J-20 fighters directly. In addition to its speed, it's equipped with an advanced control system that increases its stability at high speeds, and it has an arsenal of supersonic missiles and several anti-ship missiles that'll come in handy later. Let's not forget about camouflage. Its coating can conceal the presence of a fighter jet even if the radar is at a distance of six miles, which is very little given the flight altitude of 72,200 feet. On the other hand, Chinese J-20s, which also have stealth technology, can reach speeds up to Mach 2, i.e. 1,500 miles per hour, have good maneuverability, but most importantly, they have a numerical advantage. Together, they provide strong competition. J-20s are equipped with advanced weapon systems, including long-range missiles and advanced radars, which give them an advantage in long-range combat. In this confrontation, the stake is placed on speed, stealth, and maneuverability. The X-44 engages in close combat, dodging J-20 missiles while destroying the enemy one by one. Meanwhile, the X-59 completes its reconnaissance missions, transmitting important data to coordinate strikes and finishing off the remaining radars. Thanks to their well-coordinated work and superiority in many characteristics, the X-44 and X-59 successfully cope with all the difficulties, and there's only one target left, to sink the main enemy ship, which Manta will do because it has the weapons to do so. This supersonic confrontation in the South China Sea shows who really has the real power. The United States has demonstrated the power of the X-59 and X-44, and I'll not be surprised if these aircraft become the new standard, the benchmark for other countries. Air technology like this is strong on its own, but in tandem, it's just something that can't be beaten without the same tandem. Such a conflict is prompting China and other countries to accelerate the development of new sixth generation supersonic fighters, which may lead to new technological breakthroughs and an increase in global tension. Perhaps this arms race will not lead to anything positive and it would be better to slow down. But as we can see, it's very difficult to stop this train. Chinese military experts are already reviewing air combat strategies because they need to urgently adapt air defense systems. So we're preparing to see something from China that can shoot down even the ultra maneuverable X-44. Be that as it may, we can only watch and marvel at how interesting and powerful technologies humanity has right now Testing of the new NGAD fighter jet is underway, promising to shift the balance of military power in favor of the USA. However, it possesses something that significantly sets it apart from other fighters. Equipped with cutting-edge laser weaponry, the fighter has a highly unconventional method for disintegrating its opponents. The ingenuity displayed by its engineers is sure to impress even the most discerning military experts. The aircraft also boasts an advanced invisibility system, rendering it undetectable by the enemy and leaving them defenseless against the impending threat. Designed to achieve total air superiority, this aircraft commands respect from its allies and strikes fear into the hearts of its adversaries. The NGAD undoubtedly stands as America's most sophisticated and expensive next-generation laser fighter. In the past, you may have needed, you know, a whole strike from a carrier to be able to do that. Now you just do it with one airplane. Despite its power, this fighter's main objective isn't to attack but to protect. Nevertheless, it's been equipped with devastating weaponry that includes hypersonic missiles, a variety of bombs, and something else that you'll learn about very soon. The primary ar armament is in weapons bays underneath the airplane where we carry six medium-range radar-guided missiles. The fighter has an increased payload capacity of 20,000 pounds thanks to its larger size. With an impressive wingspan of 171 feet and a length of 69 feet, it stands out as one of the biggest fighter jets today. The NGAD was created as a response to heightened tensions with China, which continues to provoke the United States with bold actions. An F-22 fighter recently intercepted a Chinese spy balloon flying over California that was heading directly towards a U.S. military base. Realizing that their primary geopolitical foe was making great strides in military technology, it was decided that a laser-equipped fighter would demonstrate superiority and deter any further potential threats. And they did. The development process began as soon as it became apparent that fifth-generation fighters were starting to reach the limits of their abilities. 
The U.S. Air Force then embarked on a mission to design a fighter that would revolutionize aerial combat. It's known as the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, and it goes beyond a traditional fighter program. Instead, it encompasses a broader range of platforms aimed at ensuring the USA's tactical dominance for decades to come. Although the main contractor remains undisclosed, the fighter's already in its final testing stages. As of 2023, development costs have amounted to $1.7 billion, with the full-scale production of these aircraft estimated to require several tens of billions of dollars more. Airplanes are becoming very expensive these days, and we had to do something to get the cost of these airplanes back down to a reasonable level. The hefty price tag is justified by the fact that the fighter will play a central role in an ecosystem that combines a piloted aircraft with five other unmanned drones for various purposes. What truly sets the NGAD 6th generation fighter apart is its innovative design. The developers have prioritized its defensive capabilities and overall user friendliness. As a result, the aircraft boasts maximum stealth, speed, and ergonomic features. The fighter's been stripped of all unnecessary components inside and out, while its aerodynamic form not only allows it to reach speeds of up to nearly 2,000 miles per hour, but also to perform evasive maneuvers. The NGAT is intended to set the technological standard for competitors, especially when given its cutting-edge laser weaponry. Lockheed Martin's creation, known as the Layer Laser Defense, perfectly aligns with the fighter's needs as it can be utilized seamlessly in various situations, be it for offensive or defensive operations. This adaptability makes it an ideal fit for the fighter. The environment's changing. Um, and the threat's changing, and therefore um, we are looking at um, laser-directed energy weapons. Um, they're around and about on the ship. The LLD boasts a power output of 300 kilowatts and operates using cutting-edge laser technology. It generates ultraviolet radiation, which is then converted into infrared. This directed radiation is aimed at the enemy, causing their surface materials to heat up to thousands of degrees. This formidable weapon poses a lethal threat to all machinery as it can trigger the detonation of projectiles inside tanks, artillery, and aircraft due to the intense heat. There's no way to defend against such powerful lasers, which means the NGAD could simply fly over enemy bases and take out key positions with a single precise strike. When it comes to aerial combat, an enemy's aircraft's thin skin would simply melt away within seconds. The fighter jet's being tested with additional invisibility capabilities. It's been equipped with a unique stealth coating that not only deflects radar waves, but redirects them, rendering the aircraft invisible to enemy radar. When radar frequencies strike the aircraft, they appear to glide over and around it, concealing the fighter from the enemy's monitors. This ensures that the NGAD remains undetected until it's able to make its first move. Now let's delve into the fighter's technological features. Despite the complexity of hypersonic engine technology and the need to overcome various technical challenges such as cooling extreme temperatures, the NGAT engine excels at handling all these obstacles. The new engine offers two flight modes and also includes a hydrogen tank, allowing for brief bursts of up to 3,700 miles per hour. It's equipped with additional air ducts facilitating the air's entry into the combustion chamber, where it mixes with liquid hydrogen fuel. This fuel-air mixture is then ignited, producing high-temperature gases. As these gases combust, they expand within the nozzle, generating a reactive force that propels the fighter to an impressive 2,000 miles per hour. And that's just the beginning. The engine is currently being tested for transitioning into turbojet mode, where the aircraft speed will reach a remarkable 2,600 miles per hour. To help accommodate such high speeds, the aircraft's design follows an aerodynamic flying wing scheme with the wings themselves forming a significant portion of the aircraft's overall mass, boasting a wingspan of 171 feet. The fighter can be controlled both by a pilot and artificial intelligence. In the first scenario, the pilot wears an augmented reality helmet that replaces the traditional instrument panel, turning the entire interface into a virtual one. The pilot's main task is to press the launch button and set the desired program, while standard controls are used only in critical situations where the artificial intelligence might face challenges. However, considering how advanced modern technologies have become, this is unlikely to happen. We're looking at everything from within flight systems areas, we're looking at battery technologies and, and using a lot less hydraulics in the cockpit. 
The artificial intelligence also controls the additional drones that operate alongside the NGAD. In this scenario, the fighter functions more like a command center with a comprehensive database rather than being an independent combat unit. There are two types of drones that stand out in particular. The first type is the combat drone. This unmanned aircraft can fly at an altitude of 59,000 feet for up to eight hours, carrying hypersonic anti-tank missiles that travel at speeds exceeding 2,500 miles per hour. The second type is a reconnaissance drone equipped with cameras and sensors. It collects information from the surrounding environment within a 25 square mile range. The data it gathers is then transmitted to the main fighter jet, which then issues commands for the combat drones to carry out their attacks. The way we use it is by employing it against targets that we cannot normally see visually, whether it is due to weather, smoke, haze, or just some sort of other. This trio is undoubtedly dangerous, as the NGAD doesn't even have to engage in combat directly. The drones take care of everything. According to reports, a new U.S. drone armed with the same laser weapon as the NGAD will soon be added to this set. This focus on the aircraft's safety comes from the extensive experience in building powerful fighters like the F-35 and F-22, which, despite their power, lack sufficient protection. Nobody wants to see another multi-billion dollar aircraft destroyed by a missile. The latest edition surpasses its predecessors in almost every aspect. For instance, while the F-35 requires long-range missiles for attacking enemies, which can be intercepted and thus result in a failed mission, the NGAD's laser reaches its target without giving the enemy any chance to defend itself. Speed is also a crucial comparison. The fastest U.S. aircraft at the moment is the SR-71 Blackbird, which reaches speeds of 2,000 miles per hour. However, it has to ascend to a considerable altitude so the lower temperatures can help cool the aircraft's body. Unfortunately, operating at such heights makes offensive operations impractical. In contrast, the NGAD doesn't have these issues thanks to a material on its outer surface that can maintain a cooler temperature. Plus, its new engine accelerates the aircraft to a top speed that's faster than that of the SR-71. It's important to understand that the Blackbird is primarily a reconnaissance aircraft, whereas the NGAD is a fully equipped combat aircraft with reconnaissance capabilities. With a wingspan of 138 feet, the B-21 bomber is undoubtedly a close competitor. The NGAD, as mentioned before, boasts an even larger wingspan of 171 feet. This enables it to carry a greater payload. At the same time, the plane's larger size hasn't made it more detectable by radar. Instead, its radar scattering system has almost completely neutralized this factor entirely. The future of weapons could look very different to what they look like today. Um, so we're looking at um, options to have flexible payload bays, have different missiles all contained within it. The original plan was to create an even larger and more powerful fighter, but the complex engineering required more time and resources that made it impossible for engineers to bring the concept into reality. However, the USA has already signed a contract to upgrade the NGAD in hopes of making it as powerful as initially envisioned. Nonetheless, development of the current version of the aircraft has seen tremendous success. It can now easily bypass enemy defense systems at top speed and strike with its powerful laser from a distance. Additionally, it can deploy drones to launch missile attacks, leaving no enemy base standing. Upon learning about this new project, even China has scaled back its ambitions and stopped provoking America's military. That's because there isn't a fighter jet in the world that can rival the NGAD's capabilities. With its hypersonic engine, advanced stealth system, unique body design, augmented reality helmet, artificial intelligence, and helper drones, the NGAD is undoubtedly the world's greatest fighter aircraft. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and share your thoughts about the video in the comments. Wishing you all a wonderful day, and see you soon.